I think revenge is there, but I think they're talking more about his father than anything else. But I do think as things go on, he will get more and more involved in that revenge thing. Do we um, do we think like the anime is doing a good job of like not flashing out the story, but keeping new people and like what like what's going on? You know what I mean? Like like we're saying, a lot of stuff's just happened there. So that whole conversation with Master Chen about Chiyo, the Chiyo men. Um, do you think people are going to be following up? To, like what's actually going on? Or is it just because we you know we we I know it already? I think they're, um, I mean, for us, obviously, we, we know what's going on. But I think in terms of somebody who's not who's not watched it, I think they, they're they introducing the characters quite quickly. But they're giving yeah. enough sort of background saying that, yeah, to, to give it context as to why they're there. We know why they're there. I mean, Paddy's just touched on it in, in chat that we know they're there it's because we, we know the story so well. We've played these games hundreds and hundreds of times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if if that re- sheet's put this Reddit thread in there saying that there's someone who's never played the games, no knowledge of it, is really enjoying it, is rewarding, likes the story and likes the art. It's just um, yeah. So if they're I doing mean, that well, it, we're we're in business. It's creating it's creating the intrigue into it. I think whatever mm. they've talked about, just even if someone's confused, they don't, they're not really following. It's an intrigue into the next episode because they're hoping that they're going to explain stuff a bit better, perhaps. Or as episodes go on, it'll make more sense, which it might do, to be fair. So can we work out then what was going on with Landy? Where where was he? Was that a flashback? Was that something so, that had happened I'm prior pre- to Iwao dying? I'm pretty sure it's a flashback to before Iwao dying. And then he obviously makes his way over to Japan. I mean, Richard sh- it sent me... It's a flashback, I'm sure. Because um, it wasn't fuzzy like the other flashbacks have had that fuzzy shit. It was like just plain... As though it was happening, and it was the guy who sold out. Oh, wow, okay. It was. It's difficult to like read the subtitles <laughs> at the same time and take it in. And I think it's right before he went to Japan. So it was Landy. Okay, so where was that hall? That Hui Hall. So is that that's somewhere in China? It's apparent. I'm just reading what Richard sent me. Um, and it's about five hundred. Put it up on the screen, or uh, I might be able to share it. Hang on, let me pull my browser up. I don't know if it'd be too K. Wilson says he thought it was Niawu. Ooh. See that the name sounds familiar, you know, the Hu He Hall. Is that not where that that dude's training? That's not let me zoom particularly well. Let What's that see. hall called where the Kung Fu Panda guy is in that Hui Hui Hall or something? <laughs> Sorry for butchering all the names. I can't remember. I'd have to Google I have to have a quick look. But that's what Richard just sent me. Just popping up on the screen now. It was a flashback since it was in Japan at the time. Okay, Hana. It just took me by surprise that that I, I I've, I've had to think about that. Like, so is that where it's actually located? That little pinpoint thing. Yeah. Let me make what... the stream bigger a second. So, Shui is located in the region of Gangsu Sheng, Gangsu Sheng's capital, Langzhou. Langzhou. Why is that familiar? Lanzhou. Ah. Oh. What's the name of the place that Shenhua mentions? And that Feng something. Um, it's approximately 349 kilometres away from Shuyi as the crow flies. The distance from Shuyi to China's capital Beijing is approximately 842 kilometres. Maybe also interesting distances. Okay. It does, yeah, it does look like a restaurant actually. Or some sort of business. <clears throat> so if you look at that map at the bottom there, then so that's Japan on the right. Yeah. That, like snake, snake-shaped country thing. So is Hong Kong? I don't, I don't actually know where Hong Kong is on the map, but is that where that, you know, to the right of that red pinpoint, is that Hong Kong there? I don't perhaps? know. I, my geography for China is crap, so someone might have to fill us in in, in chat on that one. I'm just thinking from like the travel across the sea. No, it's Korea. Yeah, so it must yeah, be further yeah. across. Like down and across. Because it's quite oh, it's a long Korea. boat trip, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it could be sheep, yeah. Lang, Langzhou. That could be what I'm thinking of. 
It's Luyang, isn't it? That's what Shen Ha mentions in, in Shenmue 2, the, the, the city of Luyang. Yeah, yeah. So it's not the same as Land this. Lanzhou. I wonder if that's familiar because of that Yusuzuki research trip thing. i put it away for now. No, fair play. I appreciate you sending it me. Um, it's interesting because that's where's that come from? Like, was that in the original scripts? Was that something they threw in there for a bit of context? Was it from Shenmue Three that we never got, and they thought, Do you know what, it fits quite nicely here. Where? Okay, check this out. It's not one of his visited locations, but it's it's nearby. Hang on. So. Look. Oh yeah, Zion's yeah, yeah. There or whatever. So it's there. Okay. So it's quite close to one of the locations you just need to travel to. Interesting. I wonder if that's in um, one of the scripts or something. Then it could well be. Like an actual location that we were going to visit at some point, or or at least be talked about. Because bearing in mind, there's a lot of cut content. I mean, looking at the chapter tiles, it could well have popped up in some of the old chapter tiles, and they've put it Ooh. in here because it fits. Shall we have a quick look at the chapter tiles? <laughs> See if one of those is what looked like that place. Hang on. Can you have you got a screenshot of that building from the outside, Matt? Only what Richard sent me. Chapter tiles. Maybe not then. Hey, Spags. Do you reckon he's just hunting people down in the in the community, shitting them up to get information? Which, to be fair, yeah, it was cool, wasn't it? Section eight, because they actually had the Chinese subtitles mm. at the bottom and the English ones over that, which was pretty cool. Pull the chapter. Tiles. I wonder what sort of language they're going to be using in actually in China then do you reckon that Schwing's going to speak Chinese or is she going to speak Japanese talk so it, Japanese it could fit anywhere in these and bearing in mind it's changed so much over years I don't I don't know how much relevance it will have but it's it's a nice little sort of flashback gives Landy a bit of context he ain't messing about he's he's yeah. going to get his information one way or the other so what did the Chinese guy say again? How did he manage to tip off a WoW? Like, what's he got to do with a WoW? So he basically spilled the beans that a Japanese guy took the mirror and Yuan Dezu okay. facilitated it, which then obviously set Landy on this path to look for Yuan Dezu. And presumably through mm. that, he found out or he knew anyway about a WoW through whatever happened with his father. Because a WoW knows who Landy is. Let's, let's not forget that. Yeah. Yeah. Well killed his father <laughs> yeah in way well, inverted commas so i think it's landy sort of piecing things together hmm. i think as an episode a lot happened there in what 24 minutes a lot happened it was quick i really i really enjoyed that one i enjoyed it actually the translations annoyed me a little bit i'm not gonna mm. lie like i'm not gonna nitpick on it anymore but You'd have thought they'd have got I love that seeing, right. I love seeing all the lore, though. Mm. All the, all the... Yeah, that, that's what I'm really interested in seeing. And all the visuals that sort of supported it with the dragon, the phoenix, and Chi Yu. So, I'm trying to think now. Do you reckon we've still got a chance to get some mirror cutscenes so we can learn more about the mirrors from... If we're going to get them, we're going to get them next episode because I... <sighs> I wonder if they'll merge it together. So you don't necessarily go to the antique shops to get the lore. Maybe Yagamashi knows something about it. Yeah, I could I could see you, Magus, um, it's having a conversation again with them. And I mean, you, you get the one with Oishi, uh, Oishi San yeah. in the antique sh shop again. He, I suppose so could they, go could, back in there they could go back in there. Yeah, that could work. Definitely. That could definitely work. The third, one? the third one's Russia China shop again could be you know you could have all three essentially like they could have like a 20 second 
just flicks, you know, as I was, you know, I was doing his investigation sort of stuff previously. He could be doing that with the mirrors, hopefully. Would be nice mm. to get a bit more of that. Yeah, sheep night, um, night festival in Bailu as well. That'd be interesting to see that. I hope they show it, presumably next episode, because A, you get some more Shenmue 3 lore there, which is great, and mm -hmm. B, does it does it sort of sh further sow the seeds of doubt in Shenhua's mind about this, this prophecy? Why is it there? And how, how does she link to it? Because she, she, she's questioning it the entire time. I, I do think it's been put on repeat a lot. Like, maybe it's just me being having been around the games for a long time but i think now they don't need to be mentioning it as much as they are but whether that translates to, to new people who obviously aren't as familiar with the story as we are i i'm mixed about it for me i don't think it needs it but if, if they're doing it to sort of keep that hook for new people then i can understand it but i i don't know I don't know. The Bailu stuff's great. I like the Bailu stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Sparks. I think she keeps going through it in her head, doesn't she? I think she she, she knows or well, she's maybe she's more attached to it, which obviously she is, but I mean, she's thinking thinking about it a lot more. I mean, Spags is what he's saying there is spot on, actually. You, you, you're completely right. It's linking them so actually, there's a, there's a shared objective there. She's doubting the prophecy. He's doubting yeah. his father. So when they do come together, they've got a common goal, other than the yeah, you know, other than just the prophecy and yeah. what happened in the cave. Yeah. And then she'll get that realization of like, this is the man from the eastern yeah this country is... from across the sea, bollocks that I've been hearing about so much. You know, could this be a sign? <laughs> Yeah, it is interesting we haven't seen Shenhua's father yet as yeah, well. Yeah, you'd have expected him to be like, well, you know, walking around perhaps. I mean, depends if he's in the stone pit working away all day. Maybe he turns up at the... Um... Maybe he turns up at the night festival, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Possibly. You just about to say that. Yeah, you took the words That'd out of my good. mouth. Yeah, you could well turn up there. It could be his like, last festival when he starts going back into the cave to work on the on the relief, etc. And then that's... Because yeah. you don't need to see much of him, you just need to know he's there. That's all. That's yeah. all it needs, isn't it? Because she mentioned him yet at all. No, I don't think she's mentioned uh, the father. Ooh, I don't think she mentioned him in episode two. I might be wrong. Oh, she, mm. was she getting wine, rice wine for him when she traded with Aldi? Yeah, I'd have to watch it again to confirm it. But possibly, that's possibly, possibly. If that's the case, that's the only uh, the only mention we've had of Mister Yuan. Yeah. The medicine, thank you. The was, yeah. Okay, thank yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. So that that fits it then. He could he could well dream of Shenhua at the night festival. You called it if it is. She was. Yeah. Hi, she, uh, Nathan. Yeah. By the way, nice to see you, Nathan. Um, Shenhua was kind of banned from seeing the interior of the cave as well. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. You've got some really interesting things going on, like. I just love that they're adding additional elements. I love the fact that, that the story they've they're giving a lot more than the games are able to. Because I mean, if you start adding this stuff into games, it, it spirals and spirals yeah. and spirals. So clearly, what they've done with the Master Chen stuff, with the Bailu stuff, if they've sat down and got, especially with the Master Chen stuff, and gone right, how can we fill mm. this out more? Now the question is, was this some of this Master Chen law and background story? Um, there in the scripts, but they didn't include it because they felt, do you know what, we haven't got time to include it here. We'll just include the base story. Well, I, I think so. I think someone mentioned it on Twitter earlier. I think it might have been Shen Musings because obviously if you look up Master Chen in Super Pass or, you know, the online passport or whatever, mm. Shen Mu's passport, it, 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 let's do it now, actually. I'll read what it says about him because it does mention all these, you know, the drug dealing and that sort of stuff that they're into. Um, because it's because what I liked with Master Chen here, he, he's obviously you know, embroiled, he's, he's synonymous with the criminal underworld here, and yet he is telling Rio, I'm not going to drag you into this. So, again, it's more than just vengeance. He's like, You don't know what you're getting yourself into here. 
I'm, I can't knowingly drag an 18 year old, you know, 18 year old man into this, a young lad at the end of the day, because of how dangerous it is. It's it's noble at the same time as well. He's, he's a dodgy character. Mm. And that relationship between Master Chen and, his, um, and Guizang, again, it's, it's so... It's very cold. Very, very, very cold. Very cold. I was quite surprised how cold it was. But again, it's further context that we can't get. Do we get an episode... Do you think we get an episode on the boat? Let's get to Shenmue 2. I'd like to see the boat. I don't know if they've got time. That's That's, that's my personal opinion on it or if they even know about it <laughs> See, i don't know what it was that was was it that okay so yeah so on super pass if you if you look at the old warehouse number eight like the backstory it says master chan and guizan can be found in this warehouse it is used as a warehouse for works of art but it is said that contraband cultural assets for which export overseas is prohibited are secretly stored here. Dummy works of art are also casually stored, perhaps in order to deceive the authorities so that they can be dif differentiated mm. by the untrained eye. Master Chen also owns warehouses at a number of other harbours, but this warehouse is managed by Guizang. Okay, so it does... So it does allude to like the criminal activity a little bit there in it... the backstory. It does, doesn't it? Without going too much into it. So seeing how they've gone into it here, I think just gives it the further context that we needed. Um, and there's a little bit on his own. It says real name Yawen Chen. He's one of the ve he was sorry. He's one of the few wealthy Chinese magnates living abroad in Japan, and has big name in the trading business. He owns numerous trading operations worldwide, including the one in Yokosuka. While he deals in a variety of high-end merchandise, Master Chen is particularly well-versed in antiques and has multiple patrons. He is said to own numerous works of valuable art, some of which are rumoured to be national treasures, but nobody knows for sure. Okay. It's interesting, isn't it? So, again, he's he just, he just a dodgy character. A, yeah. lot, a lot of chat talking about the boat. I don't know if you could dedicate an entire episode to the boat, I reckon you could probably maybe do. You could half. do like a, like a two minute scene. Yeah, I reckon, maybe. yeah. Or we'll flashback of the boat, two five minutes. What happened on the boat? You're in Hong Kong. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would just, be cool. Just, just enough to see what happens because obviously we've got the comic and we know what happens on on the boat. I think it'd be cool to see it how long is the boat trip. It's like a three month boat, three month boat trip or something, or or two months or something. Like sixty days or something. It's quite a long time. I'd have to Google it again because I, I should know this shit. I keep forgetting. It's not that long, I just, I don't know. But I know, like, a significant amount of time passes. Why does 19 days ring a bell? I might be, it might be too short, but 19 days rings a bell in my head for some reason. Which is long enough. Oh, 20, trip is 20 days. 20 days, so I was close with 19. I was way off with three months. <laughs> But yeah, okay, 20 days. So, I mean, I don't know if they're just going to do like they're doing the games and just cut that 20 day period out or well, you would show a little bit of it. They might, they might show like a five minute flash of the boat trip, which makes sense. I don't think you could, because 20 days on a boat, you ain't going to flesh that out. So I think five, five minutes on the boat and then you're in Hong Kong and then getting your stuff nicked and all the rest of it. Hey, what would be cool to see the zimming stuff. Like what Nathan's saying there, they, they could flesh out those manga mm. chapters. But imagine if they're showing like the the Zimming arc bit when that'd we get to the cool. Shemu 2 stuff, that would be really cool to see. Because with Ewing and obviously her pendant, they could literally, again, it's a two a minute scene just to just to have that. And then you introduce Niao's son, even through the shadows. Oh, you could set it up amazing. with her with her just in the shadows, like a, a silhouette of her. But we, yeah, we, we yeah. would know who it was, and new people would look at it and go, Who's that? And it gets the you concept. Could see it happening, couldn't you? you could see that happening. See happening. That'd be really cool. It'd be really, really cool if it happened that way. <laughs> Hello, Paddy. The boat eats up the rest of the season. <laughs> it's just from episode five to thirteen. It's just the boat. I mean, they're gonna cram in a lot. I mean, it's... let's yeah. run with it. Two episodes left for Shenmue One, assuming that's the case. Mm -hmm. You got that. 
so then you've got eight episodes to hammer through Shenmue 2. So you've got the arrival. You probably have your bag nicked. You got to meet Ewing at some point. Li Xiao Tao. I don't know if you'll get. Yep. I don't think you'll get much books stuff like carrying. I think you'll get. You'll see it. Do, it do, you might see a little bit ones. of it, like do a bit of like a flash. They to probably him. introduced that Master Mo maybe possibly mm. as well. Get a move scroll from him or something. And then you're definitely gonna have the leaf leaf catching. What about the wood? I would. I'd, I'd assume so because that's a massive part of Shemu too, isn't it? Mm. Fang it's to... where Rio learns all these principles yeah. moving forward, really, doesn't he? Bides by a lot of the wood. Like Dave's got a lot to get through here. You've obviously got to learn counter elbow assault. Mind is clear. Yeah, as a Fang, may, Fang may will be the nice, cute anime trope. It's what you want in it. If they don't cut her, I'd be disappointed. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be disappointed if they cut her personally. I think Fang Mei is a bit more important than. Mm. Have we not seen her at all? No, Fang there's Mei. nothing. There's been no character art of Zhuing or Fang Mei at all, anywhere. Um, they, I know Zhuing's been cast. I can't remember if Fang Mei has. I'd, I'd have to check our website and have a look. I mean, Chow, yeah, Wu and Chow Wan. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's got to be in. Um, Which f- is, is cool to see, actually, thinking about it, because they, they'll probably end up doing the DLC Shemu 3 story thing as well incorporate that a little bit seeing Zang not not in this season but you know what I mean they could bring it in further down point. the line and then you've got Chow on sign of the future you've got then you obviously meet Ren you get beaten up you go to Kowloon you've got all of that I mean it sounds yeah, like a lot I don't, I don't think Fang Mei will get caught it I'm sounds like it sounds like a ton to, to, to put in but actually the pace it's moving I can see them doing it yeah I yeah. want and I want but when planks. you break it down I reckon we could break it into sections. Mm. And I think you could find that we could do um, want planks. I want planks. Ghost Hall I think building. Find that we can probably do it in eight. They can do eight it. Episodes. They can do it in eight, and I, I it's just where they finish it. Where they fi- where where they finish well, the whole thing. The last episode is pretty much going to be dedicated to like the Yellowhead building, isn't it? Like the what? big finale. It's if, they, be... if it ends on the on the the, the top of the tower. Yeah, and spoiler alert i mean this is just me making guesses but if you look at the introduction you've got rio facing off with landy and a lot of wind around him with rio putting his hand up like that so i'm guessing that's the rooftop they face off may not fight but they face off and the helicopter might pop up from behind the scene and landy buggers off jumps on yeah Yeah. Cheeky duck. <laughs> but I think I reckon you'll see that as an Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, I reckon you will. I reckon you will. Actually, it'd be quite quite a nice little Easter egg to throw in there. I think we're looking at two episodes for Shenmue One, and then the rest is Shenmue Two, and they've got a lot. The thing is, as well, how good are these now? And then they've got Shenmue Two, where the shit gets real. <laughs> it really kicks oh, off. I still can't imagine Shenmue Two side of things. It's going to be insane, isn't it? And we've seen. Once it gets there. We've seen nothing. We've seen a little bit of Kia of, of, of Kowloon, a little bit of Hong Kong, or Wan Chai rather. But we've seen yeah. nothing. We've seen nothing of Aberdeen. We've seen hardly anything of the characters from Shenmue It's good too. that they've done that, isn't it? They've done that deliberately too. And it doesn't seem, as far as I'm aware, like anyone has been handed the whole season. No, it's all you been... Know, these these reviewers, drip, drip, drip. reviewers have had like a couple of episodes, but no one seems to be... Otherwise, we'd have had spoilers or something right by now, or leaks mm. or something. I think you'll get... It's, like, it's, it's being drip-fed all the way through. So it's been quietly yeah. done, quietly done. And it, I, I don't know if they'll do this, but I think they should. Mid-season trailer, that you get you get the end of you leave, you know, the ending of Shenmue 1, and they release a mid-season yeah. trailer as the teaser for the Hong Kong element. That'd be really good. That'd be really cool, and yeah, that's I, cool. I can't wait for the seventy man battle because I I suspect like Lardo says seventy man battle. The yellow head section is going to be amazing. You'd hope they splurge their budget on the um the fight on there, the yeah. fight on those big fights because if they have, they could be absolutely fantastic. When I say mid season, I break halfway. No, as far as I'm aware, it's going to be consistent the whole way through. But what I'm thinking is, as a mid season inverted commas, um. They do. I mean, if they did a break, I mean, I can't, 
a week, two weeks. I hope they don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure they won't. It doesn't but, seem like it. I think. No. Would we have known by now? I think we'd have do that? some idea now. But what I'm thinking yeah. they'll do is, as a break in inverted commas, they might release like an extended trailer showing off Hong Kong a bit, like two minutes. That's all you need. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we could use a week break, but I don't think we're going to get it. <laughs> True. Man, that it's a, that would that would be cool. I was I was on about this the other day actually watching the whole the whole season in one day. If you know, once it's all released, I think it'd be nice to like cut it all up. So it's just one big file, just one big episode in a, in a sense. You'd get rid of like the introduction and the endings from every episode, so it just carries on from into the next. I'd watch that. It's like a nice four-hour four hour movie. binge. <laughs> yeah, four-hour binge. Four-hour binge. That episode was good. It followed the games very, very closely. There's a lot in there to talk about and dissect and yeah, pick apart, which is good. Shamu, the game, the anime, the movie. <laughs> but I think that I was, I'd probably say if I was rating episodes, that's probably not quite as good as episode two for me personally, but it's better mm. than episode one. If I had to sort of nail my colours to the mask right now. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, it's they're all very, 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 very good, aren't they? I mean, it's... I don't think I can put them in an order, really. I've, I've just in, really enjoyed everything so far. Um, I, I do... I really enjoyed the lore in this episode. And I like that they're mm, taking I it a little bit further than the games as well. So we're actually seeing a visual of, you know, these Chinese beasts, the dragon, the phoenix. Mm. The, they're alluding to that kind of thing. You know, in the game, obviously, Master Chen, he just talks about chi Yo monster thing and... You don't really think anything of it, do you? It's like a passing comment. And then it's only really like towards the end of Shenmue 2 where some of the stuff starts to... You start to question what's going on. But you... in the anime, showing that as he's, he's telling you, it adds a little bit more to, you know, this mysterious Chinese folklore sort it, of stuff going on. It's good for us as, as old fans seeing this context because it gets us talking about new things. So mm -hmm. you're appealing to a new crowd who haven't seen this sort of stuff, give them the context generally. And then for us as yeah. old school fans, it just you know, gives an added layer to that lore around it. I mean, per being perfectly honest, I don't think there's a bad episode here so far. I really don't. I think they've... Episode two's right up here. Episode three, a little bit down, but not too much at all. And episode one's pretty damn good. And I think they work really, really well all together. Um having rewatched them all as well, you pick up things that we carry on with and you pick up as you go. I see James is resubbed. <laughs> yeah, might as well. 34 months. Um, and I think there's a lot, a lot here in terms of teasing out the mysteries that we, we're going to get as we go. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with three episodes in. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. They've, they've respected the source material superbly, but they're going off mm -hmm. at their own tangent nothing wrong with that at all and we're, we, you know, we've got 10 more weeks of this 10 it's more insane, weeks isn't it? and it's, absolutely there's, crazy there's a lot to digest like that episode there was there was a lot to take in there as it was happening it was it was difficult trying to obviously you've got the idea on the that we're on stream on camera kind of thing as we're reading the subtitles and you know probably normally we just sat, sit there watching it you know what i mean what well, we're doing this kind of thing and we're talking about what we're seeing at the same time. So it was a bit more more difficult to take it all in as it was happening. There was quite a lot in that episode, which is... Um, I will rewatch it's cool. it. It's going to be another one to definitely rewatch that a few I... times to to properly dissect everything we've seen there. I think so. But damn good episode. <laughs>